We're starting off with the latest on what could be considered the biggest problem dodging Japan's damaged nuclear plant. Highly radioactive water keeps building up at Fukushima Daiichi. Now, Tokyo Electric Power Company has released an estimate of how much it expects to decontaminate over the next three months. TEPCO said Wednesday it plans to reduce the amount of tainted water at the facility by some 34,000 tons. At this point, 120,000 tons have accumulated at the plant. TEPCO started an operation on Monday to use the decontaminated wastewater as coolant and recirculated back into the damaged reactors. But the procedure has been stopped twice since then because of pipe leaks. TEPCO workers temporarily halted things on Wednesday after they detected a leak in a storage tank. The utility maintains the system holds the key to stabilizing the reactors and reducing the amount of contaminated water at the plant. The utility maintains the system holds the key to stabilizing the reactors and reducing the amount of contaminated water at the plant. TEPCO's estimate of how much water will be filtered over the next three months is based on the assumption that the new setup will function at 90% capacity. Right now, it's only operating at 55% capacity. The Japanese government has decided to help Fukushima Prefecture conduct health surveys of its residents with estimates on the spread of radioactive substances from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The Fukushima Prefectural government is scheduled to conduct the research for more than 2 million residents of the prefecture. Some experts say the level of residents' external radiation exposure cannot be estimated precisely as no radiation data immediately after the March 11th accident is available due to blackouts at the plant. The government's nuclear disaster task force says it will provide data from its computer forecasting system called Speedy. Speedy predicts the spread of radioactive substances based on the levels of radiation observed in each area and forecasts of wind and other weather conditions. The system will be used to calculate radiation levels in areas within 20 kilometers of the plant between March 12th and 18th. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the residents' exposure levels for the week will be clarified to a certain extent by combining the presumed radiation levels and a survey of their activities. Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said frog. Our survey said zero. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant restarted its new reactor cooling system on Wednesday afternoon after replacing leaky pipes. Okay. On Wednesday morning, Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, halted the system for the second time after finding two small holes in the piping. TEPCO is trying to decontaminate radioactive water in the reactor and turbine buildings and use and then use the treated water to cool the reactors. On Monday, TEPCO started their water recycling system aiming to stabilize the reactors by mid-July. But it was forced to halt the operation after only 90 minutes when water was found leaking from joints connecting the pipes. The system was restarted on Tuesday afternoon only to be halted again the following morning. Operating the recycling system is a challenge as it has four kilometers of piping. I put this thing together out of spit and polish. Look at that. That is a complete fucking fraud, and it looks 100% real. Nearly 80% of Japanese municipalities with nuclear power plants have reservations about resuming operations of suspended reactors. NHK asked 29 such municipalities outside of Fukushima Prefecture whether they would allow such resumptions. 28 responded. Five said they would not do so for the time being, while 17 others said they cannot decide now. Only two municipalities, the western town of Genkai and the village of Kariwa in central Japan, said they would soon allow nuclear plants to restart. Only 21% of respondents showed a positive attitude toward resuming operations. Asked what factors they would consider in deciding on such resumptions, 64% cited local consent, and 57% said adequate measures against earthquakes and tsunamis. Most respondents said the central government should answer all of their questions responsibly and in, of course, plain terms. Now hear this. Mount Shinmoe in southwestern Japan erupted again on Wednesday, sending an ash cloud 1,000 meters into the air. 
It was the first time in over two months that smoke from the volcano has risen more than 1,000 meters. An ash cloud rose to 2,000 meters in April. A weather observatory in Kagoshima Prefecture says smoke is moving toward the north of the mountain. It's advising residents to stay alert for falling rocks and ash. Mount Shimoya is in the Kirishima Range and straddles Kagoshima and Miyazaki Prefectures. It began erupting in January.